Yes. That such clips will raise awareness of how dangerous spitting can be and how important it's to do it carefully. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Why? Why? Why are you choosing to go? Oh, and he's got a passenger. Why are you choosing to go that that way? Why did you Why did you choose to go on the right side? I'm not I'm not sure about that. So once again, you know, it's accidents happen. We pulled out in front of somebody instead of like a car. So it's a human thing, not a, not a, oh. So we got our bike destroyed, their bike destroyed. Hopefully they're doing okay. Left leg looks injured. He's guarding it. He put his arm, he put his hand on it. It's because of the two car split law in Poland. Two car split law. Can you explain a little bit more about that, Tony? two-car split law. So her right knee, maybe the pants were like that originally, but she seems to be doing fine. Everyone's in a little panic. Let's go back just a little bit. Yeah, I just don't... So supposedly there's a law? I just don't understand why we switched from... switched from this to going all the way to the right. I hope that such clips... You know what I mean? So we went from doing that... To even this, can be and how like that seems to be good enough. How important needs to do it carefully. So we're getting some ideas that they, maybe they can't split, but they can filter shoulders. But that's why you got to double check, and it might be a little bit harder to double check slow speed to do it a nice, nice head check, especially when you have a passenger. But these are things that you have to practice. Do that head check; it's very important. Maybe even pause. Um, Maybe even pause going back here. Let's go back just a little bit. So I know there's a head check here, but like maybe even just pause the bike. Because you can't really see. You see the line of sight? It's an uncommon, th uncommon thing in a common situation. There's a line of sight issue right here. You can't see past the vehicle. And remember, we're probably only looking for cars. We weren't, he probably wasn't looking for another motorcyclist. In Poland, the legal situation is somewhat complex as lane splitting is not specifically legalized, but not banned either. Interesting, okay. So maybe they just went to the shoulder to be a little bit safer legally. But this is also another reason why just because it's legal doesn't mean it's the safe thing, which sucks because if they could just, oh, look at his head, easily could have been, could have been bad. Oof, all right, so, this is why I think something should be legal because it's safe because people will still do whatever it is they want to do and I don't know this is a terrible, terrible situation speed legions oh speed wobbles please keep it up because imagine hitting one of the curbs right there because they're kind of slotted get your head stuck in it snap a neck and we're going backwards interesting did I save it yeah you did I could tell good for you but probably slow it down miss monkey bear here we go Miss Moki Bear, sorry about that. So merging area, orange stage, a little bit. What's going on? We got a side of the vehicle, or I'm sorry, a open lane pattern in blind spot right there. Okay, typical. Write in the comments if you see that now all the time. You see these blind spots, open lane patterns, and you're able to navigate out of that situation. Boom, there we go. A little bit of a crash. Oh, he was able to, to walk it off. Very good. Very good. Super Moto Hell. Interesting. Side of the vehicle, intersection, GoPro makes the gap look bigger. Why do people say that? I don't know, man. It's just... I mean, I can... Okay. That's a side of the vehicle, intersection, orange stage, nighttime, different hazards, right? You did good with the braking. I'll give you that. We don't have to... See how we escalated the situation? We escalated the situation. You're in a vulnerable spot straddling your bike. He could just push you. You're not in a good spot. Just take off. Just go. There you go. Let's go. Get out of there. Dirt to tarmac. Here we go. Lane filtering. Is this a TW or what is this? Whoa! In this situation, the biker doesn't understand why the driver is deliberately blocking him, so he decided... Because he's a jerk. And then just leave it at that. Let them have it. Law of gross tonnage. They will win. Let them have it. There's no reason to fight that. No reason to fight that. Move on. Just move on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's some jerks out there. 
Here we go. The zen of commuting starting to drop my guard. Okay, so we started to what? What stage do you think we, we went into if he started to drop his guard? Think of highway hypnosis. This is something you could do in your car pretty easily. Um, yeah, we're in, probably in white stage. Started zoning out. Started zoning out. Very easy to do. But remember, when we're getting up to merging areas like this, we should start going into orange stage. Typically, uh, yellow stage throughout the whole thing. But then we start getting to blind spots, start getting these uh, on and off ramps. Let's get into orange stage. We don't know exactly what's happening here. And then we have somebody swerve out in front of us because they want to make that exit. Okay, so what can we do? We can accelerate past because we got to find an escape path at that point. There's not going to be enough time to, to uh, progressively break and let them in with that total stopping distance. So we might have to swerve to the right to get on the shoulder. We might have to accelerate past and swerve to the right. Maybe even break and, and move to the right. Okay, we can't just break and then hopefully not get hit. Um, it might work if they accelerate, but I'm not going to trust that. I'm going to trust myself and my, my skill set. So I did a great job, moved out of the way, shoulder, get right back on. Good job, man. All right, I uh, don't know how to say that name. Neighborhood. Why is it like dark? I'm messing with my eyes. Good job recognizing the side of a van. Good job recognizing it. That's a pattern. How you doing, John? Yeah, color grading on this one. So is this like a passing lane? It's pro it's a passing lane. We were passing. They wanted to pass too. Recognize these situations, guys. Handle it. Good job with the braking. We have bears. Oof. Once you get past them, accelerate past. That looks, that doesn't, they're pretty fast. They're pretty fast. No. Wooly mammoth. This, Short. This, oh, what's that on the road? Corner. No way, dude. Oh, it's, it's trash the bags. Same corner. Okay. There's no, those are helmet. Those are saddlebags. Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine that. Imagine. Hey, buddy. So he seems to be fine. Are you okay? So he's probably exhausted, though. You could help if you want to. All the way down. You could there? you can help because um, he's probably really from? exhausted. I don't even. You can see the tearing on his hell, man. on his hoodie. I rolled and then rolled down. Yeah, it's Dude, it's down there. It. You're gonna need some help to get that out. But, but if, he's got his saddlebags. He's man, pulling things up. Ping ponged all the way down. Wow. Right here. So that's one of those things that's pretty scary. Is that you're out riding, right? Think about that, right? You're out riding, and you see that like the little little black thing over there you get closer this is the same corner and there's i thought they were trash no bags until we got way. closer so there's saddle bags now why would saddle bags be there you start doing um a little bit of investigation in your head it's like you start doing one plus one two plus two it's like interesting you know what what's going on here and if you see that it's like somebody had to put that there probably a bike okay but then we see the guy come up. Hey, dude, this is the same corner. There's, there's a helmet on the ground. You see him come up. Oh God. And you're like, oh, I wonder if he's injured. So it switches from like, this is kind of weird, to maybe we should, maybe maybe there's a little bit of thing that we could do to rescue. I mean, let's remain calm, sure on safety, stop major bleeds. But the fact that he's climbing up, saddlebags are down, it's like that gives you a good indication Something's probably not the worst. Like, he's probably doing fine, but if there's any mi main, uh, minor scratches, a little bit of venous bleeding, at least in the rescue pack, which is 25% 20, uh, off right now, um, we have some 4x4s, 5x9s, you can, and then some roll gauze. You can go ahead and clean up some of that stuff. But, man, that's crazy. Let me grab the back. Yeah, 25% off right now. Hey, grab it. Tourniquet, triangular okay. bandages, rescue card, four okay. by fours, five by nines, everything that you're gonna need for a situation like this, even for minor bleeding, but definitely for major All bleeding. Down there. So that's a it's a scary situation because there's some people that that will go down there and then uh, then die because nobody nobody even notices that they're gone. You guys seen those? Uh, I think it was recent with uh, a man. snowboarder who was upside down in a tree well, and a skier uh, just like 
went the same direction, but then he just like, I don't know, he like he crashed, but he just fell and sat down and he sees like just a little bit of a snowboard sticking up and he digs him out. That dude would have been dead. Nobody would have known. Nobody would have known. Write in the comments if you've seen that. It's pretty cool. He rescued that person. But the same thing can happen for this motorcyclist. Rom Squatch, how you doing, buddy? Hey, bud. Rom Squatch. All right, I, I'm right there hopping away. I don't know what he was looking at. Oh, deer, probably. Yeah, baby deer again. <laughs> okay. Watch out for those. Did good. Yo, yo, English. Wear some full gear. Uh oh, did you lose something on your uh, Can Am? You're still on fire. Fire? I know, obviously, Suzuki does not have cruise control. Um, even with turn right, uh, with you, your GPS says so turn right. Like, I know I'm not getting cruise control. You got your 360. What are we? Oh my god, dude. What? Bag is toast. Oh. Oh, friction, just heat on the tire, or just is it the exhaust? The exhaust is, is melting it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you lost everything out of it. Oh, that sucks. Watch where you put your gear. Oh my gosh. Watch where you put your gear. So, you want Flint, Flint and fam. Yeah. I am not sure that I keep on. Flint and fam. My breaking, my hard breaking, processing. Okay. Maneuvers like that, maneuvering left, maneuvering right. Good There's job. No I probably could have. I literally thought this was a song until he started speaking with a. <laughs> this is, it's interesting. My maneuver is like that, maneuvering left, maneuvering right. There's no way I probably could have bred there properly because he came out so slow and he committed <laughs> so late. Like, good job with the no swerve, getting way. yourself out of there. I thought this was me. But anyways, if you guys have a different- This is good. I think, imagine if there's like a training video where it's just straight up like a rap. Now I'm starting to sound like an old school teacher, like trying to teach typing with a game. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. I want to listen to the first part again. I was about to say I gotta I gotta like mute this because we're gonna have a copyright issue. This is Flint and Fam. All right. That's the way it is. So yeah, I am not sure that I keep on practicing my breaking, my hard breaking, practicing my maneuvers like that, maneuvering left, maneuvering right. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Good job. Good job. But anyways. If you guys have a different read on the situation, let me know. But Jackets. These are really important. Uh, my jacket is a climb jacket. I think it's climb, right? A lot of people say it's climb, climb, whatever it is. But I want to show you what's really, really important about jackets here is that you have that back protect. You can kind of see it. There you go. You kind of see it. It's that uh, orange D30 uh, back protector. Uh, usually jackets when you buy them they don't have that they have like this gray foam and it's just a it's a padding okay you want to get that out of there and get yourself an actual back protector so you can protect your spine in the event of a crash also you're going to have on the inside typically is you're going to have shoulder armor so this has d30 shoulder armor and it also has d30 uh, elbow armor